Hello and welcome to this session on JMeter beginner tutorial tips and tricks and today we are going to see how can we use concurrency thread group and we will see how can we control the threads using the concurrency thread group. So let's get started and I have my JMeter open and before we create the test let me also go to the JMeter playlist. So this is the JMeter beginner playlist and in this series I had created a session number 15 which was about how to set up realistic performance test pacing and in this session I have used the stepping thread group however the stepping thread group is now no longer used so if you go to jmeter stepping thread group and go to this link you can see the plugin is deprecated and should not be used use concurrency thread group instead so let us go to concurrency thread group and here is the plugin so you can either download it from here and add to your jmeter or you can go to your jmeter and then go to the plugins manager you will get plugins manager under options and plugin manager or if you are using jmeter 4.0 like i am using you will also have the plugin manager icon here now in case you do not get your plugin manager in your jmeter you can add it and again you can go to my jmeter beginner playlist and here i have a session number 12 how to use plugins manager so basically you have to download the jar and keep into your jmeter so now let us go to our plugins manager on jmeter and you have to go to the available plugin section in my case i already have the plugin so i will find it in the install section and you have to use and take the custom thread group plugin so once you take the custom thread group plugin and then you can apply changes and restart your jmeter so that you will get the plugin and once you have that if you go to your test plan and right click and go to add and go to threads you will have the concurrency thread group available here so we are going to add the concurrency thread group now here you can set up your threads so here we have target concurrency so this is the number of threads that will be running in parallel so let us say I say there are 10 threads that should run in parallel and as I make the changes you can see the graph here so that also gets changed so if I say 10 you can see we have now 10 threads so number of concurrent threads are now 10 now I say the ramp up time I can set in minutes or I can also select seconds from here so for now I want to create a very quick test for demo so I will select seconds and as I select seconds you can see this has also changed to seconds and I say the ramp up seconds should be 10 and now you can see the graph has changed so it is ramping up to 10 threads in 10 seconds we have the time on the x-axis and number of concurrent threads on the y-axis so we have all the threads getting generated in 10 seconds and now I have to select the ramp up steps count so in how many steps will this be ramped up if I say 2 you can see it is getting ramped up in 2 sections and if I say 4 you can see it is being ramped up in four section and if I say 10 you can see it is ramping up one by one so every second one user is being added and then here I have to say hold the target time so if I say 10 seconds so you can see the test will now run with all the 10 concurrent users for a period of 10 seconds so for a period of 10 seconds the test will run with full load that is 10 concurrent users or 10 threads and then here at the bottom you have thread iterations limit so if you want to run this for two times or whatever count you can put it here and then if you want to log the status of threads into a file you can also give any file name any csv file name and the status of the threads will be logged into that csv file now i will just create a sampler so i will add a http request and I can just go and add any any HTTP request so let's say I'm go I will add this lifecharger.org website I will copy it from here go back to my jmeter and I will add it here and I do not need the protocol here and that's it 
and to see the results I will add a listener so I will add view results tree listener here and yes and now I can start it and let us see the results and yes I am getting the results so you can see the threads are getting generated one thread every second up to 10 seconds and for 10 seconds it will be like on a full load so this is how you can use concurrency thread group and create a realistic test plan in Jmeter. I hope this session was useful for you. Please hit the like button and share with others and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will meet you in the next episode of Jmeter. Thank you for watching.